And welcome back, everybody, for our next deck, Mardu Revel in Riches. Mardu Riches. So we are a Mardu control deck where we are trying to um, win with uh, with Revel in Riches, trying to make a lot of treasures. So we'll see if we get to pull it off. Okay. Why are you so moody? Here, come here. There you go. Um, in order to, to help us with the Revel and Riches, we, we are playing a bunch of these Trove of Temptation, which this is a, a card that I haven't actually um, played before. Okay, cool, Zeon Live, yeah. Uh, yeah, you'll be able to find it on YouTube if you miss it. Um, uh, so it's just basically at the beginning of the end step, we make a treasure. So it's basically every single turn make a treasure. Um, I'm not sure if this is worth it as a four mana card. We've played Smothering Tithe in the pack and I've let, in the, sorry, in the past, and I've liked Smothering Tithe, um, and this is very similar. Um, I'm not sure if like the first part is really, really any good. Um, so the good, the thing about Smothering Tithe is is late. If the game goes like really late, the opponent can just start paying, and you don't get any treasures. But Trove, you just keep getting treasures, so that's kind of cool. Um, and we got some Captain Lannery Storms to make some treasures also. Um, and yeah, that's true. We could make a big blocker. We could make a, a token with Karn that makes like a, a big artifact uh, blocker, and then they have to attack into it. So that's that's actually kind of cool too. Um, and we have Angrats in the sideboard, so this deck looks pretty sweet. So let's try it out. Let's see how it does. Mardu Revel and Riches. I played. You know, I've been playing like some Abzan Riches a couple of times, and I never actually won with Revel and Riches. Yeah, like there was a couple of times I was going to, but, but our opponents conceded. So I'm told that, like people have said in chat, that um, there aren't, there isn't any uh, animation for Revel and Riches whenever you win with it. But I still want to do it and see if there is um, an animation. I, I just really want there to be an animation, but I guess there's not because people say there's not. But so I really shouldn't have hope. But uh, yeah, Boot says there isn't too. So. I really shouldn't have hope, but I still have a little hope. I don't know why I do. Last night you won three times with Revel and Riches, and there's no animation. Ugh. I still kind of have a little hope. Yeah, okay. Yep, you'll catch the VOD on YouTube. Cool, Toonster. It, it was pretty good. I liked it. The Merfolk deck. It's uploading right now on YouTube. It's got about 20 minutes left, or I don't know. It has to do like uploading and then processing. I don't, I don't know how much longer it has, honestly. Maybe 30 minutes, who knows. But it's, I'm getting it up there right now. Um. Speaking of that, let me finish typing out like the title and all that kind of stuff. I really liked the, the main deck of Simic Merfolk. Thought it was well put together. Dang, why didn't they keep that Brassus Contempt? I think I, I want to scry with the treasure map here. Certainly looking for Kaya's Wrath. Kaya's Wrath is like the best card that we can find. Kaya's Wrath got a little worse. Alright, close that, close that. And that's our win con, but we have to be able to kill our opponent's creatures. We have to stay alive. We don't need the win con right away. Oh no. I messed that up. Okay, there we go. Back to not messing it up. Kai's Wrath? Hmm. So I'll just mortify the Midnight Reaper during their turn here. I 
And then we're going to five. Okay, I got everything ready to go on the YouTube channel whenever it gets done processing. I'll keep stop, good call, good call. Found it. Finally. All right, and I'm not using any of these treasures um, to uh, to like play another treasure map or anything like that. Um, so they get, so they're probably going to use find finality here. Yeah, get those things back. Uh, we are going to be able to have, we are going to be able to flip the compass now. So we get to kind of tap down the, the Midnight Reaper next turn. We're not going to take damage immediately. Um, all right, let's draw another card. All right, so I have two mana. Let's go ahead and discard a Sacred Foundry. I could see... I honestly think I may just use a treasure here to scry with treasure map. I think we have enough treasures. Yeah, I, I want to scry. Gotta find another Kaya's Wrath. That's a good point. Scrying a card to the, the bottom is very similar to drawing a card. We need more Wraths. We may have to use all these treasures here. So I, I have the ability to Spires and Mortify. Hey, Dark Sip. Oh, our yeah, our decks haven't been haven't performed the best today. Um, hasn't necessarily been our day. Ugh. But that's okay. Tap that thing. Mortify this thing. Upkeep stop for the scry. Gotta find another Kai's Wrath.
Yeah, we could go to one there. If I I could just fires and go to one, but I I want the I want that thing off the battlefield anyway. Never didn't have it. You may regret that choice. Finally got there, like the very last card. <laughs> very last card. Alright, we get to play this Trove of Temptation now, also. I don't think our opponent's gonna have anything haste. I don't think we need to keep up spires. All right, we start gaining a treasure every end step, which is, which is of course awesome with Treasure Cove. You know, it's just another card. Yeah, Golgari Raiders, just wipes us out. It could certainly happen. All right, so what do we have at the bottom? We have two other troves and a riches down at the bottom. That thing's pretty big. We, of course, have the spires that can take care of it, though. I can, al I can also uh, minus Karn and go get cast down to kill it. I do like contempting it though. I don't like them getting back um, Hydrocrasis. The problem is um, the biggest problem is Vivian though. If I use this contempt, what I got, I have three contempts in the deck. Hmm. Are you certain of your decision? Those are two good cards. I like both of those. Yeah, we're a Revel of Riches deck. And remember, with, with Chromatic Lantern in play, our lands tap for every color. So, you know, it looks like, oh, maybe we only have one black, but, you know, we have we have a lot of black mana. Yeah, I could have retrieved Cast Down. Absolutely. I decided to just tick up, though, and kind of dig towards another Kaya's Wrath, because, like, with them having all these cards, they're likely going to need... Like, they're likely going to put a bunch of more creatures out, so we're likely going to need a, yet a, another Kaya's Wrath. I think that's worth it. That's not a Kaya's Wrath, but that, that's two cards and two treasures. Get rid of the Sacred Foundry. Wings Profit. And there's a Wrath.
I battle for the this will aid us. Mm -hmm. I'm going down to one. I have double spire for Krasis and, and Jade Light. Take two from Branch Walker. Yeah, one's not zero. We're set up well for previous turns, and we're not letting our opponent just draw tons of cards. Uh, Z. <laughs> One in a hundred are, are basically the same. We win with uh, Revel and Riches, this enchantment, that at the beginning of our upkeep, if we have 10 treasures, we win. We can also make Karnstrux and, and win with Karnstrux as well. That card's pretty good. That card's pretty good. They probably have a Vivian by now to destroy Revel and Riches. Alright, they still don't give me Revel and Riches. Um, I should have upkeep scribe there, but we drew an okay card with Mortify. Is I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be playing enough to get to the Mythic Invitational. Like, like there's gonna be eight other people in the world that are playing a lot more than I am. So. Um, let's see. Kind of want to use these contempts on these Kraysai. Then we have to just find another contempt for a Vivian. I don't want to use... Fine. I don't want to use the Kaya's Wrath yet. Because we only have... Um, we only have two Kai's Wraths left, and so both of them are very valuable. And plus, uh, I want to get Revel and Riches in play before I play Kai's Wrath also to gain a whole lot of treasures. I wonder if we can deck our opponent.
So we have... Hey, Mass. Welcome back. We have 23 cards. Our opponent has 25. is needed. <laughs> so we have enough treasures here to win the game with Revel and Riches, but our opponent may not realize it. Because that's six right there. We're going to get an, a treasure at end step. Thanks to the Trove of Temptation. So that's seven. And then we have a treasure map here. We can scry and put three treasures into play on their end step. Um, and make it ten. <laughs> Tiny enchantments. So we can kind of, like, if they just tap out for a huge crisis here, if they just, like, spend all their mana and make this really big crisis, they lose. No brasses bounties, no. Um, we probably died to mono red. Uh, yeah, Lord Finisher, this is gonna be this is gonna be the last deck for today. Um, I may finish up a little early, but I have like some some work I gotta get done. I gotta send some emails and stuff, and you know try to work on some st stream improvements. So I'm gonna be doing that. So yeah, um, I currently have two decks tomorrow in the queue, but but that's it. Yeah, I think our opponent understands what we're doing here. All right, yeah, they they still don't have Vivian. They're yeah, they're looking for Vivian. They're trying to draw into Vivian, or maybe they just had Vivian and they wanted to do that. The wild wasn't meant to be contained. That can't help you now. Keep that. I will sack a treasure, draw a card. Scry again. I don't want that. Sack a treasure, draw a card. Should have scryed up keep there, um, but it's not really that big a deal because I have all these treasure coves that can draw more cards, so we can just scry here and then continue to draw. So we're at 19 cards in library. We know we have one revel over here. We haven't seen any lannery storms yet. A lannery storm would be a good card to find. I kind of want to just make treasure like tokens with the... Oh, deck, come on. I say I kind of want to make just tokens with Karn, but what was lost is now returned. Just gonna get this cast down. I guess I I should have just drawn this first. Should have drawn one more. Ah, oh, there was Lannery Storm. Dang it! Get punished for not drawing one more. Didn't need to use the Contempt on Vivian. I could have attacked Vivian. Just wasted a Contempt there.
So they can use their Chupacabra now. I'd rather Storm get killed than a Construct, I suppose. Fifteen cards, so they're decking first now. Yeah, this is the first game. Um... Evil cannot withstand a righteous army. We got some oh, some pressure on the opponent in different areas here. You know, we have the Revel and Riches that can win. If our opponent doesn't deal with it. And if they do, then we have like some really big creatures. <laughs> win con enabled. Yeah, no no Vivian opponent, no Vivian. We're at 14 in library. We're keeping that cast down. Oh, there's Vivian. Three, six, seven, eight. We are eight cards away from another Revel and Riches. How this thing goes is up to you, pal. No one said restoration was painless. And remember, Captain Captain Lannery Storm gets plus one plus zero for each treasure we sacrifice. So we can actually make this a 12-2 creature um, by sacrificing all 10 treasures. That is something we could do. Of course, that, that obviously that shrinks like our, our other tokens, but that's just something we could do. We gotta be like out of lands, right? I can go grab this other re revel here and be aggressive about it. It's the thing, if, if they have their third Vivian, we're going to lose to just decking. But we could force them to have a third Vivian immediately, like next turn. I'm not sure if they're out of Krace Eye. I don't think so. No, I don't think they are. 
They probably have. I think they have another. Usually play four. Going for it with the Revel of Riches this turn, obviously. <laughs> hey, what's up, Slasher? Yeah, this is... This is a crazy game for sure. Alright, can this Revel the Riches win? Come on. No whammy. Oh no. I've lost so much already. I won't lose more. Uh. Draw and fire. I think that means we lose now. I went I went all in on that. I'm not having third Vivian. I think they play three. Like everybody plays three Vivians. And now they so they had their last one. Okay, that's good for me. Draw some cards. They're at 10 cards now, and I'm at 6. Awaken. I'm not gonna play the other Karn because I, I'm gonna just Karn struct again here and then play the new one. Um, so that's, that's what's left in our library. You can't stop nature. I don't have any removal left. Yeah, if they keep on ticking up Vivian and. Uh, Draw more cards, maybe we can win. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we know they have that cast down, so I, I just can't. I have to get another Karn struct out of this Karn. I can't. I can't just sacrifice it by playing the other one that last turn. I seriously have nothing else to do.
<laughs> there is great power in the things we make. Oh, wow. Nope, no trample. We've played two contempts so far, three contempts. Probably don't have another contempt. Uh, biggest reason was I was trying to win with Revel and Riches. I thought I thought I could do it. They had all their enchantment removal, though, unfortunately for us. I advise that you yield. Some solutions must be built. Well, Vivian also gets to kill like these, these creature tokens, which is bad for me. Yeah, us, us decking is kind of a problem with this deck. Do get to draw too many cards. Yeah, maybe one bane fire would be worth it. My shield. I'm I'm starting to think I usually don't like Bane Fire, but with Trove of Temptation, I'm kinda of thinking that one Bane Fire would be worth it. Fire is the kind of card that you just don't want early, though. Awaken. Yeah, I need a fourth revel in riches. Why why not draw a card over Treasure Island? I don't, I don't understand that question. Oh, just why are we not drawing cards? I Yeah, I'm going to mill out. I only have three cards in my library. Sometimes restoration means retribution. I can't. I can't draw more cards.
No, I I have three. They have five. Yep. Shouldn't have drawn those extra cards a, f a few turns ago. I, I drew like four extra cards to get to Revel the Riches and, and throw that down immediately, force them to have third Vivian that turn. They did have third Vivian, so that extra card draw ended up costing me uh, with the mill game there. Yeah, so we have Spyglass for Vivian. Angrath is cool. Um, get rid of Lannery Storm. I don't want Duress 2. I, I kind of want Deafening Clarion. I I am worried about like our Kai's Wraths getting Duress from them. Play Clarion over a Mortify. Yeah, this this actually this could be a, a profane procession match for sure. Uh, yeah, profane procession could be the card here. Yeah, overloads the Vivians. That's a good point. Now we're going to be on the play. I don't, I don't basically ever like taking out a land on the play uh, for the most, like, basically ever. Because, um, like, how you have the extra card, you may struggle with hitting land drops. Um, if you lower your curve a bunch and you're on the draw, then you can, you can take out a land. But being on the play, you need... You have like the one less card, so uh, you have a, a lesser chance of hitting land drops. Yeah, hopefully the spy glasses keep Vivian Reed in check. Of course, we have to draw him, but gotta draw one. Uh, could see them having like a you know thrashing Brontodon um, coming on in here. It's like another card we may need to name with. Uh, sure. I'm going to slow them down. I'm going to just kill this druid. I like Bolton Birds. Hmm. Do I just draw a random card and try to be able to play Karn here? I guess it's going to depend on what they do. If they do nothing... Okay, they have a Branch Walker. That's kind of nothing. Uh, they have trophies. That was the other card. Uh, that was going to say that they could, you know, have to kill, like, Spyglasses and stuff for trophies, but I can't do anything about that card. All right, I'm going to just not scry here and see if we get lucky and play Karn this next turn. Okay, we're not lucky. <laughs> Always cast down the Druid. Yeah. Doesn't have that same alliteration as Bolt the Bird. Thanks, opponent. I'm I'm obviously missing lands here, so thank you for using that trophy there. I do appreciate it. Do I want this land? Maybe not. We also get to scry with this other treasure map now. 
think we're going to do okay drawing land, so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, good choice. Because between, between the Karn tick up, between drawing a card and the Karn tick up, we we're looking at another three cards, and so I figured one of those three is probably a land. So I got rid of those other two lands. And that was the case. We got it. We still hit a land drop. Tilt. Yeah, that's a good card. All right. How much? How much heat am I taking from this branch walker? Do I need to mortify it? I'm at 10 right now. Uh-oh. Ooh. Give me that card. I have one card left in hand. The big problem is they, could, they can Memorial the Folly back. Alright, I'm, I'm using two treasures. They do get to Memorial the Folly back. Uh, Carnage Tyrant, but they, they only have five lands right now. You know, I could have no flipped the compass fire, last turn no uh, by scrying the treasure map last turn. I could have flipped compass. Um, I didn't do it. All right. They just picked it up. Um, yeah, it was fine. Finality was their last card. But I didn't do it because I gave myself the option to be able to draw it, to be able to look for another land and just get, get another card out of that. Get another card out of it. Bedevil over Mortify. Yeah, Bedevil's just a better card than Mortify, isn't it, in this matchup? That's a good call. Yeah, Bedevil's just better. Um, and then, yeah, so Profane Procession. Over other Mortify. Do I want duress for a trophy, Vivian? <sighs> Things like that. I'd probably play duress over a mortify. Um, I actually kind of liked Trove last game. Trove was actually better than Smothering Type last, last game, which is crazy. Over the Chromatic Lantern? Hmm. What if I play a Profane and a Duress instead of a Lantern and a Mortify? Alright, I'm in. Let's do it. Nah, we need Karn. Karn's one of our best cards. Ugh. Punk could certainly run us over. But let's hope not. Usually post board they have a whole lot more you know, like they have like a lot of interactive stuff, so um hopefully they don't just have like a fast hand. Hopefully they have a bunch of expensive things. Well, first two draws haven't helped out. Nothing to do on two or three yet.
You don't want that card opponent. You don't want a Rex Age. Why would you play Rex Age? Hmm. I guess they wanted it. Yeah, this match. Yeah, losing game one was kind of was rough for us because yeah, their their deck is get a lot better here after sideboard. <sighs> they had cut Vivian on Let's turn four. Meet my newest friend. Oh boy. Even Spyglass now. Rex Age gets to destroy Spyglass, so that's not gonna help us out. So we need. Uh, we need something like Frass's Contempt. Oh, hey, Frasus Contempt. Never didn't have it. All right, we're still in it. No, another one? Beasts are much more reliable than humans. Hmm. Well, I'm going to need another another one as well. All right, my pillaging or rat or carning. Carn or pillage. I a curious choice. I've seen things that would break someone. The second like Vivian you. is going to crush us. <laughs> That's an emote that I need to get is the cap light emote. So our opponent just like keeping contempt up. Like, they could have just activated Druid and killed my, killed my Karn, but I guess they didn't didn't care enough to do that. They're just negating. Okay, they're just negating. They have negate too. Yeah, we're really dead. Really dead. Meet my newest friend. If hmm, they make a five five hydroid crisis. I guess a 4-4 four, four Krasis. I could steal it with Angrath and shoot their Vivian and hit their Vivian with it. If it wasn't for this Rex Age, we would have a chance. We draw Kaya's Wrath. We did not draw Kaya's Wrath. Oh, I, I'm one mana short anyway. I thought I could cast Kaya's Wrath and Spike Glass. I'm one mana short though. Yep, yeah, we. Negate got us. Hmm.
well chosen. All right, still a really fun match. Uh, you know, we ended up losing, but that was really fun. So good long match there. We are 0-1. The that second Vivian and then the negate, those two things. But second Vivian, that was a killer. Yeah, Angra Angra's awesome against Crisis. It's, it's great there. How long was that best three match? It was pretty long. It was pretty long. Hey, Night Owl. Yeah, no, I know this isn't the best deck, but it, yeah, this is a fun one. It. I wonder if we need one Banefire. I was thinking Night Owl. Um, we lost the first game to decking. Uh, you know, where we had like infinite mana. I wonder if we could use one bane fire in the in the main. I don't know where really where it goes. Maybe over. Um, maybe over a. Maybe over one of the revel enriches. Like I think maybe just two revel enriches for win cons with those. And then um, with the third win con, instead of the third revel, if you're playing against a deck with counter magic and champion hate and stuff like that in the main deck, you get to go get to go with uh, the bane fire. Spell Pierce is un unfortunate for us. Thalmatic Compass was going to be really good in this matchup. It's good to shut down a Drake. Oh, uh, Thunderbeard, that's awesome. You got a, an epic steak dinner on the company dime. Nice. They got two spells right now. Wrath. I was just thinking the Kai's Wrath would be a good card to draw. I was just thinking about that. Get rid of two threats. They don't play a ton of threats, so yeah, maybe they're out of threats. It's possible. We never have to worry about a spell pierce ever again. Rude. That's honestly really not bad for us, though. I mean, I, I think that's probably better than them just casting Discovery and looking for more threats. That's honestly probably better for us. I could have sacked the four treasures to deal four damage. I guess the five. Yeah, it was four at the time. Um, but you know, if we're gonna win, if we get a, like a revel in riches, I want to keep all these treasures around. I hope they block. Ah, uh, dang. They don't know what, or they kind of know what Captain Lannery Storm does. Mm. 
Yeah, I guess Esper or Spell Swindle for counter magic. That could certainly work. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, if this was the Bane Fire, we would have been able to kill our opponent. Which is true. That's it! Revel and Riches! Got there. Alright, Profane Procession is very good. Angrath's good. Lyra, good. Lannery Storm, bad against uh, shock, like all their shocks and stuff like that. Um, trim one, one Revel and one Trove with these other five mana cards coming in. Actually, I want Bedevil too. Sorry, so I'm going to cut a second Trove. And I should, pro I should probably just bring in Duresses. Yeah, I, I should have duresses. No, we don't. I'd rather have a removal spell for Terramander than Spyglass it. But that is that is fair. Spyglass does make Terramander only be only a one one the entire time. Maybe I don't need Lyra. Here's a good blocker. Like they're probably bringing in Niv Mizzet, maybe maybe Ral is a Viceroy. Actually, I'm going to cut Pirates Pillage. Um, that's the card I'm going to cut is Pirate's Pillage because they, you know, they have counter magic, um, and like if, if I play Pirate's Pillage and discard a card and they just counter it, that's, you know, pretty bad for me. No, Terramander is not a mana ability. There's, there's a cost to it. There's a mana cost to it, but a mana ability is like, is an ability that just produces mana. Terramander's ability does not just produce mana. It does something. So it it is not a mana ability. Yeah, so that's that's what mana abilities are. They're they're things that make mana. Like Land of War Elf. Yeah, like Land of War Elf makes mana. So that's mana ability. There's not really a whole big reason to duress them right now. Put a spell in their graveyard. Alright, upkeep stop. Let's look for removal. That's not removal. Treasure maps helping out the flood problem. That's a good card. Hey, it's up, DJ Polly B. Priest is yeah, priest is not a man ability also because it does stuff. If it, also if it has a target, it's not a man ability. Priest has priest has a target. Um, the so targeting things is not mana ability.
They are certainly a Nevmizzet deck. A lot of Nevmizzets. Or that's a lot of Nigma Drake. Sorry, that's that's only one Nevmizzet. I don't know what I was saying there. Ever seen walk your crew for my freedom? <laughs> a fair price. All right, we'll no make him discard fire. one of those, no and then we'll mortify Niv, and then Niv cannot ping down um, Angrath, who only deals one. And then I'm using this treasure again to play the Karn, so I didn't ma I didn't ah, mind that the treasure cove was tapped there. So I want to get the Karn in play also. And then if we get a land with this plus ability, which is likely, we get to activate treasure map. Do not talk to me of pigeons. What is this? Enigma Drake. No, shock. Back to the devil's chains in the Stormwreck Sea I go. That's a bummer. I'll keep stop. The treasure maps did a whole lot for us. We put five lands at the bottom. That's good. Choice. I just had an opponent thought erasure my hand. They had four life and one creature on the battlefield. That's fine. Um. My hand had two settles and a lava coil and a resplendent angel, and then they just conceded. <laughs> you are acting unwisely. Oh, that's a good draw. It's the draw two. Hey, what's up, Smith? Oh yeah, you're right, they could have just... Oh, they found another well, shock to kill Karn. Thank you for the lesson. All right, well, we're not getting basically any other Kaya's Rats. Never mind, we can get Kaya's Rats back now. I have faced worse than the likes of you. Good choice. Draw cards. So I'm going to get the, the other treasure map back next turn with Karn.
Charmander. Nothing is ever truly lost. All right, and time to scry some more. Gonna stop on upkeep. And they they don't need to play more creatures out because they know that Karn can just go get Kaya's Wrath. Well, let's keep the removal spell. So even though like I have a Kaya's Wrath in hand, they they know we have Kaya's Wrath exiled with Karn. And so they're worried about that. I'll make use of that later. There's some good protection against maximized velocity. That's a good point. Maximized velocity could could certainly be a problem. But now we're good. Um I want to get a basic land out. I don't think we need the the protection this very next turn. Hey, what's up, J-Jack? I think we got this game. And so does our opponent. All right, one and one. We, we would have won with Mo Revel and Riches the first game. But our opponent conceded, so I, I still, that's probably like around five times that I would win games with Revel and Riches now, and I still haven't yet, because opponents have just always conceded. Since Revel never goes up, well, we're, we're playing Trove. We're, this deck has four Troves in it. We have both of those cards. All right, Ferlane, have a good night. We're playing Bant Enchantments? Nice. Hmm. Does our deck lose to Cleansing Nova? It's Cleansing Nova is really good against us. Yeah, that is that is a problem. Ooh. Turbo fog. Another problem. We can't kill their creatures. They don't have creatures to kill. They're a combo deck without creatures. And we are a removal heavy deck. So got a whole lot of removal here that doesn't do doesn't do much for us. And time to start this treasure production. Hey, there you go, Mike. All right, well. I won't hide from the world any longer. That card's good against me. Let's skip to the good. It's kind of good in general, though. Hey, so there you go, Sculpted Mine, saying I've gone to just doing the traditional constructed event like Todd has, and I found I enjoy the game so much more. That's awesome. What, what were you playing before that? Okay, you were just do you were doing ranked, and you felt kind of bummed at the rewards that you got for ranked. Yeah, there's not not much reward for for rank. All right, ten turn clock. I don't know if Teferi beats a ten for ten turn clock. To be honest, probably doesn't. Hurry. Maybe one main, one side with a Mastermind's Acquisition to help out for Revel and Riches. I can see that. I, I mean, I think just two main is probably fine with a, with a Banefire. I think I think that's why I like instead of three Revels is two Revels and a Banefire. Or, yeah. Hmm. 
Oh, you don't have the wild cards yet for the sideboard? No. You'll get them. Just keep... Keep grinding. You'll get there. Oh yeah, I was certainly being facetious whenever I was saying that Teferi can't beat a 10 turn clock. If if we don't find, if we don't draw like Frass's Contempt very soon, we're certainly dead. <laughs> a protected jank mode where Teferi and stuff were banned. Maybe just Mythics are banned. Can't play any Mythics. Hold that thought. Yeah, Popper League. Yeah, there's there is a there was a Popper League. Popper though, like just the aggro decks and popper. It's hard to beat aggro decks and popper when there's no sweepers or anything. So just like the, you know, like people just play like white weenies and put enchantments on them because their removal is not even good anyway. Could maybe have commons and uncommons. Have silver black. That's a that's a solid format, silver black. There's a lot of good rares against red deck wins. Yeah, or peasant. Yeah, some people call it pe peasant. I think it's more fun to say silver black. We did get a turn. We got an extra treasure for Revel and Riches. No, I would not say Red Deck Wins is so consistent and prevalent that it's bad for Standard. I don't think Red Deck Wins is one of the top five best decks in Standard. Um, I think it's probably the very best deck in Best of One, but that's that's a different format than Standard. We need to move quickly. I think it's good to have in in standard, but best of ones is just kind of a different format, so it's it uh, it's it's a lot better there. the The main reason why best of ones a different format is the the hand fixing that happens. All right, so they have they have Teferi ult with like this next of eight. I'm gonna pick up. All right, so Spyglass for Teferi, uh, a bunch of Duresses, and Grats to attack the hand. Um, Kaya's Wrath, cast down, that's 64. All right, so Trove and Revel, 
How much are we taking out? We're taking out one revel. Oh, so I'm at a compass, just isn't going to do anything either. Maybe I just need to play some Liras. And go like this. Yeah, looks good enough. Yeah, the hand fixing, that's what I'm talking about, how the best of two starting hands, how you get you get two looks at seven cards, and then you get the one with the better spell to land ratio. And so yeah, with with that format, you get to really reduce the number of lands you need to play in your decks. Cause there's a lot better chance that you start with uh, multiple lands. Hey, Waticus. Thanks for that sub for the fifth month in a row. That gets some hype in the channel. So, yeah, like... Yeah, certainly there's there's people playing, um, yeah, like 16 lands in best of one. I've seen that too, 16 land red deck wins, where you you just can't do that in, like, regularly, but. Yeah, so I'm, I'm basically keeping this because we have Spyglass. Spyglass is such a good card in this matchup uh, that I'm basically keeping this hand because we have it. Yeah, hopefully we draw another land. Perfect. Knight of Autumn. That's rude. Opponent's very rude. Hey, <laughs> yeah, we have two Atticuses in a chat. So our opponent shocked in for negate there. But we got to play around it by playing Lannery Storm, and we can still get this Karn in play. If they if they play Knight of Autumn here to destroy Spike Glass, we get to resolve Karn. I'm going to minus two Karn and put a 3-3 three, three in play. Yeah, that's that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just make creatures. Um, you know, they, have, they are a lot better late game deck than us. Let's, let's make some creatures. Evil cannot withstand a righteous army. If I play something, they just get to negate it. I'm gonna just hold up contempt. That you know, thinking they're playing this to fairy, and then we get to right contempt it. Schedule. No time for a I break. don't have a way to make these lethal right now, though. Through a negate. Well chosen. <laughs> Our bone just gives us revel and riches.
I'll take the negate out of their hand. I mean, if I cast Karn, they, they counter it. That's, that's why I was saying that I couldn't make them lethal because they, they counter Karn. Alright, so now we don't know anything about these last four cards. That's good for us. All right, good job, Karn. Good old Karn Strux. All right, we're just not gonna win with Revel. Let's get Lyra in instead. Yeah, so really did you did you tell me to check out brand new? I know this was a a suggestion for me to put on the the playlist. I got I think two brand new songs on the playlist. Yeah, Lantern is just, it, I don't know, it's just kind of, it's just another artifact to help out with the artifact stuff, and it's um, just kind of something else to do on turn three to help, uh, you know, get to your expensive spells. It's not, like, wonderful, you know, there's just one of them in there. I don't hate it, though. Um, I'm not sure if I should have kept this hand. I kind of think I should not have uh, kept this hand, but, yeah, for the most part, we're not trying to spend the treasures. Because, yeah, we, we would like to win with our 10 treasures with Revel in Riches. Yeah, our hand was too slow. I agree. Don't think I should have kept this one. I am perfectly fine with that getting Spell Pierced. I like that trading for a card. That that next turn would have given us 6 mana, though, where it would have been able to Duress and, and Grath. If they have Teferi, I can still duress and contempt. Oh, that's not what we want to see. That with Wilderness Reclamation is just so busted. Yeah, us drawing all those lands in a row didn't help my slow hand either. Also not what we want to see. All right, can we find a Mortify, please? Hmm. I thought for sure they were gonna have a counter spell there. I wish it, now. I wish I would have played the Angrath. They just have a bunch of lands. We need to find our disenchants. Or Spyglass. Just Spyglass naming Ascan to the Sunken Ruin uh, will get us there too. Artifact, Creature, Planeswalker. None of those are enchantment. I don't like that we're scrying 
Like, I, I don't like just crying those to the bottom, because if they do play a Teferi, we don't have an, an answer to it, but... That's just where we are. Like, you know, we have the one answer in our hand. We're not gonna have, you know, multiple answers. Unfortunately. Yeah, if just Bedevil hit enchantments, that would be really nice for Grixis, wouldn't it? Good news is all these insights are at least gone. I guess that's good news. You know, they've got to draw a lot of cards. They're not drawing into more chemistry's insights. They used all those already. You know, they didn't just use like something like Ascanta or Teferi to get them lots of cards. And how they tapped their mana, they don't get to activate Ascanta twice. So that's good news. But no, I, I shouldn't have kept my hand here. I I don't know, I was just kind of talking and didn't didn't really think about my hand too much. We're with this combo deck that we're playing against. We couldn't keep a hand that slow on the draw. Like with that little interaction. Playing Grixis Dragons and ranked and been on a huge 15 plus win streak has has answers. Okay. Nice. Grixis, the biggest thing that I've struggled with with Grixis in the past is is beating Sultai, or like you know Golgari before and now Sultai. I. I feel like that's like your your really tough matchup with Grixis, um, with just all the the card advantage and like the creatures and and everything, um, creature spells like just the different angles that, know that they have. They have like Hydro Crisis to refill their hand you know and what? everything, and I'm not done that's yet. that's like the biggest thing I'd be worried about. Grixis is really good against control, um, because of yeah like the the discard counter magic, um, that is certainly good, and you know especially with Thief of Sanity. Um, and discard counter magic. You're really good there. Yeah, this is game over. So now we draw a Spyglass for Azkanta the Sunken Ruin. Spyglass? Come on, deck. We got three Spyglasses. Let's draw one. Ah, oh, wrong two mana artifact. It was so close. I like Vivian. I like the 
like Vivian's arts and everything. I think she looks really cool. So yeah, I'm using Vivian as the avatar. Like the the green eyes and the bow. Pretty cool. Wish our opponent play a little faster. Because we're pretty dead, but we're not like, we're not 100% dead. And you know, if we lose this, our our league's over, you know, because this is our second loss. I don't want to just like concede. Ugh. This isn't a fight. No, I'm not planning on playing another one after Hurry. this. I know we're gonna finish up a little early today. I'll, I'll start a little early tomorrow uh, to make up for it. Um, then I can I can get a couple other things done. Yeah, they have Teferi with Nexus. All right, yeah, we we can't win anymore. And active Escanta, we really can't win anymore here. So I'm gonna get some other work done tonight. Um, so yeah, a little bit of an early night, but that just kind of happened with our, our four decks here. Played a lot of, we played like three aggro decks and then Mardu Riches. This deck was fun to play. I think, I think that's the, the big change that I would recommend making here, um, is adding one Banefire instead of one of the Revel Riches. Um... You know, you still have, like, your two Revels to win, but just one other win con of, like, whenever you have a whole lot of mana, uh, you get to Banefire. Um, yeah. And I think, you know, like, we did good the, the game two against Nexus there. I think I, I just kept a bad hand there the third game. But overall, like, that, that combo deck's not going to be a, a great matchup for us. Uh, they, you know, yeah, like, that's just not a great matchup for us. But, uh... The um, we had a really good soul time match there, like that first time, that first round. I thought that was a really fun match. Real Horatio, getting that sub in. Thank you so much. I I can understand that. I I understand that it's broken controllers, and as someone who's been hurt too much by Golgari and soul, now soul tie, I can't rock the Vivian avatar. Certainly understand that. Thanks, Horatio. Um, but yeah, this is, you know, you want to play, try to win with Revel and Riches. This is a thing. I was honestly pleasantly surprised with, or pleasantly pleased with uh, Trove of Temptation. I thought this card was pretty good. I was, I was really happy with this card. Captain Lannery Storm, probably just not necessary. This could be like some more interaction, some more removal, or, um, another Thaumatic Compass. Thaumatic Compass was awesome. I could certainly see playing uh, another Thaumatic Compass there instead of the Lannery Storm. Um, and maybe maybe even just Angrath's in the main deck. Like, you know, in like Mardu Control when you're killing all their stuff, maybe you just want like a couple Angrath's in the main instead of Lannery Storm. I could certainly see that as well. I, I thought that I would like Smothering Tithe more than Trove, but honestly, I think Trove may be better for this deck. I don't know. Smothering Tithe, of course, is, is better against people that draw lots of cards. But if your opponent's only drawing, like, one card a turn, like, against, like, Golgari just drawing one card a turn, I guess when they play the Krasis, you have, like, the, the Soul Tithe. I don't know. I, I did really like how just you always get the treasure no matter what, and so even in the very late game, they can't just start paying two mana uh, to keep you from getting the treasure, so you're always getting the treasure with Treasure Map. I did like that quite a bit. But, yeah, there we go. That's my thoughts on Mardu Riches. So if you're watching this over on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, we are getting pretty close, a little over 100 subscribers away from our next 12-hour stream on YouTube. I'm putting the, the link here in the Twitch chat as well. And so if you're here in the Twitch chat, if you have missed any of the 
if you missed any of the decks, you want to see any of the replays, maybe the YouTube link's not working. Um, you can find them all on YouTube. There's also a link down in the description panel underneath. But if uh, later on, if you're on YouTube again, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.